guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Wish testing products video. I'm so excited for this video. I've been planning it for so long and the package just finally came. Okay, so if you don't know, Wish is an app where they have like super cheap clothing and stuff like that. And it manufactures, I'm pretty sure in China. Like everything is super, super cheap and I want to see if it's actually good quality. I got six different items. Two of them are two pieces, so it's kind of like I got eight different items, you know what I mean? But I got one jewelry and then a tank top, a shirt, a hoodie, and two two pieces. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will definitely do more of these videos. I'm really interested in, te in testing out like Romley and places like that, so if you guys want me to do that, let me know and I will try my best. Okay, I'm going to talk about like my experience a little bit, I guess. The website wasn't that confusing, like, I mean, it was fine. It was a little bit overwhelming and I kind of had to scroll through like five pages of like items to find something that I actually wanted. And I tried to keep everything that I bought under like eight dollars. I didn't try and go like too much above that because I wanted to get like some of the really cheap stuff. I found out they have a lot of free stuff now, so if you guys want me to do a video on like testing free wish products, let me know. I will do that one definitely. The shipping did take a little bit, but definitely it wasn't horrible. I expected it to come a lot later because one of the like five of the packages was supposed to come on like October 22nd and it's September 28th so I mean that's pretty good a month earlier like I'm fine with that. I ordered all these outfits back in like the summer so it is more summery stuff. I did get one hoodie kind of like this but most of it's like shirts and tank tops and the two pieces are more beachy but like that's fine. We're still gonna see the quality. It's gonna be the same I guess. The only thing that was like kind of annoying is as you can see the packages came in like all different packages. <laughs> like I got one thing one day, then two things the next, and I had to wait like two more weeks, and then I got three more things. It was like it was all over the place. But I have talked enough, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I moved the camera down just so you can like see what happens when I actually try the clothes on. But I have my computer right here just with everything I bought up so I can see how much everything was. I just kidding, now I'm sitting down because standing was too much work. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some packages and trying stuff on. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's the only black package, so. Okay, so package is now opened. Oh, yep, I think I know what this is. So this is, let me find it on the website, this is the Harajuku Street Woman Alien t-shirt casual fashion top summer style tee. <laughs> okay, this was $5. I don't know if you can see that, but this is what the picture looks like. If you can't see it, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but if you can, I'll just leave it out. At first glance, just in this bag, it looks fine. I was expecting that alien to be like a patch, but it wasn't. Kind of like inked on, if that makes sense. I don't know, let me open this and see the quality. Oh, it's soft. It actually feels like pretty nice quality. It feels like in between dry fit and um, cotton. I got it oversized because I wanted it to be really big. The lighting just got so bright. It looks really like dry fit, if that makes sense. I'm going to go try this on and then I will be back to tell you guys my final thoughts. Okay, honestly, this is pretty nice. The material isn't that bad. Like, it does feel pretty cheap, but like, it, you can't really just tell first glance. The material is a little bit scratchy, but it still feels like pretty nice. Like I can move it. It's pretty big, so I would get a size down. I got an extra, extra large, which probably wasn't the smartest, but like, I mean, it does fit okay. Like it's just really long and lengthwise. You guys can really notice, but I think just like the worst part is just the neckline is a little bit like uneven, but you can barely even tell. Overall, this is a pretty cute shirt, and for $5, it's definitely like pretty good quality, I guess. It said it's down from $90, which I honestly doubt it's not that good quality. But if you look at the picture, it is pretty similar. The downside I would say about the shirt is the material is kind of scratchy, but like it's not to the point where it's unbearable. Like I've forgotten about it while I was talking about it. And for $5, I am pretty impressed with this shirt. Okay, next package. Now I'm going to do this package right here, which is more of like a gray one. Rest or white? I think this is the tank top I got. Okay, I think this is the tank top and it looks really like sketchy. So the reason I got this tank top is because I had a lot of lace on it and I wanted to see what the lace looked like because a lot of times like lacy stuff on these websites don't turn out very good so I wasn't expecting this to be good at all. Just my first glance, it does not look that high quality. Okay, so I don't even know if this is in focus but this is what the tank top looks like. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Bottom does look a little bit weird and like you can tell that they like sewed it on but it's not horrible. Let me try it on. Um, okay, so this shirt is see-through. Like not a huge fan of it. It looks, it's like a really awkward length too. Like the lace on the bottom does not look that good. <laughs> You can definitely tell it's like a cheap shirt and this feels like a cloth, like okay, 
You know the tablecloth? That's what it feels like. It feels like tablecloth. So some of the ones I that this shirt was free. I think when I got it, it was a dollar, which was the shipping price for this. So like, I guess we're paying the same thing. It does look like the picture, but it's a lot less quality. Like you're definitely getting the quality you pay for with this. Here's what the picture looks like. The picture makes it look a lot more like the bohemian and nice, but like it's a tablecloth. So let's go into the next one. <laughs> so I don't know what this is. If it's the sweat or the hoodie, it's the last like one piece item that I got other than the jewelry. I'll go ahead and open this up. And if this is a two piece, we'll just try on the two piece, I guess. Like, no, this is the hoodie. Okay, pulling it out, it does feel pretty good quality. This one is a patch. So unlike the other one, this has, this has an alien on it. I just realized I got two shirts with aliens on it. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's open this up and we'll see like what it's like, I guess. It feels pretty soft actually, like here's what it looks like. It is a little wrinkled, but like it was just in the mail, so I'm not mad at that. Why am I laying on my bed? Match does, it's like sticky and it kind of feels like it's gonna fall off, but it still looks like it's sewed on pretty good. The inside of this is actually really soft. Here is what this looks like. My camera is really low. Let me put it up higher. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty cute. It's really comfortable and it doesn't really feel that cheap. Like the outside of it feels kind of cheap, but the inside is so soft. The length of it is a little bit weird, but like I could just like tuck it in or wear not high-waisted jeans with it. And it would still be cute. Not as cropped as I thought it would be, but honestly, it's pretty cute. Like, I like it. It does not have a hood on the back. It's just kind of like a crew neck. They did have other styles, so you could have gotten it with a hoodie. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Like, not 100% sure. This was $3. Picture looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but like, honestly, that is pretty similar. And this is a pretty good one. Not gonna lie. You can't really tell that it's a $3 quality. It feels more of like an H&M kind of shirt. Moving on to some two pieces. So I'm kind of nervous about these. Like, I'm really nervous about these. It's like, they look cute on the models, but I know they aren't gonna look that good on me. So, okay, so this is the one that, this is really small for a two piece. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, this does feel like that papery thin tablecloth material. Let me pull up the picture of this. This looked really cute on the model. So that's why I got it five dollars and here is what it looked like shorts look huge oh my i got a small on this yeah i got an extra small so these look really big so i might just be trying on the top the top i need to open it the top doesn't look that bad it looks see-through though like it looks really see-through like yeah it's see-through <laughs> okay so isn't it as bad as i thought it would be really like awkward length and like the bottom of it there's like stitching and then this extra fabric i just like tucked that like that but it isn't that cute it's a cute idea but the neck is so awkward and loose and it might just be because i'm like super super tiny but if, if i pinned the neck up like this and it was like more tight fitting i could wear it in pictures but i would never really wear this out cute idea but i feel like the shirt just came out super awkward and like i don't like crop tops either so this is this shirt it's just like super awkward and just kind of like a weird fit so like overall not as bad as i thought it was Try on the shorts, they definitely don't fit at all. So I can see myself wearing it as like a beach cover up next summer, so I'll probably keep it just in case like I find use for it. Moving on to the next item, I am sure this is a two piece because that's all I have left. Okay, so this is one that I wasn't sure if I'd actually like because it is kind of like a really weird style. It looked cute on the model, but like it's not gonna look cute on me. I already know. I mean the shirt might be cute. Let me show you what it is. This was eight dollars, but I think I got it for five. Here's what it looks like. Um, I don't know why I got this. I'm pretty sure I just wanted to like try it out and see the quality. Quality feels pretty soft actually. Like, mmm. I'm let with it because I didn't feel like taking mine off, but you would probably wear like a strapless bra. The annoying thing about this is this is literally the only fabric. Like if this flies up, you're done. Just saying. <laughs> this is 100% not a shirt I would wear out because it's so freaking cropped. Like my bra ends right here and this ends right here. <laughs> I will definitely wear this as like a bathing suit cover up. Like it is a pretty cute bathing suit cover up. It's a pretty cute shirt and I'm not like annoyed with it. Like it's pretty cute. It fits really, really well. It's not one of those shirts you're gonna be like pulling this up a lot. Like it stays pretty tight. Body isn't horrible. It's not really that see-through, which I was surprised because it's a white shirt and usually white shirts like even from like Hollister are see-through. I was so skeptical about this, but I like it a lot better than the other two piece, which I was actually more excited for. So this is a win. I'm just saying this shirt because I don't feel like changing, like whatever. The last package I got, it is the necklace that I got. I'm kind of like skeptical about this because I never wear necklaces. Plus like, I don't know, I was gonna get rings, but I, I knew my fingers would turn green with that and that scares me, so. So it came in like a bubble wrapped package and the necklace is only in this. Like look how tiny and cute this little bag is. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up really quick. 
This was a dollar and it's just a heart with a J on it. Really hard to see, but this is like what it looks like. I don't know if this is any better. Oh, the heart is upside down. You know the fact that I totally put this on backwards, but I don't feel like, like taking it off and changing. So we're just going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. The heart keeps flipping upside down though, which is low-key annoying. But for one dollar, you definitely like can't tell. It looks like it's from Claire's, doesn't it? Like, I feel like it does. Okay, I don't feel like changing, so I'm doing the outro on this shirt again. Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, out of the eight things I got, like in total, there were three things that I didn't, like just didn't like. Three or four, like half of it. So it was like 50-50 not including the shorts there were only two things i didn't like out of five which is not that bad at all I think my order total was like 20 oh i think my order total was like 20 dollars, which isn't that bad for all the stuff that i got i feel like if i wore some of this stuff like out places people wouldn't know it's from a website that cheap i think it's from like h&m or forever 21 or one of those stores that's more on the cheaper side but not like a hollister or american eagle or something like that it's definitely not like pack some quality but it's not $1 quality, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some shirts were, but like most of them weren't. The verdict for this video is that I can confirm that Wish is not a scam. Get my packages, I got everything that I ordered. I didn't get like switched out packages. With that being said, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want me to do like Romney, Shein, Zaffle, any of that stuff. If you guys haven't already, become a member of the family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!